Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a really, 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 really special, spectacularly cute video because it's movie's very first puppy playtime. For those of you who do not know what puppy playtime is, it is just um, at Petco or PetSmart. They have a room where all the puppies six months and under can go and socialize with other puppies. So that's what movie's going to do. We already signed her up. We're just waiting with the other dogs, and this is the very first time that she's going to really socialize with other dogs. She has met and smelled other dogs here and there, like when we go to stores and stuff, but to really, really interact and play with them, she has not. She does hang out with her sister Molly, but Molly is 12 years old, and she's not really into playing and wrestling. And if you know puppies, puppies love to play. They love to bite and jump and wrestle and all that kind of stuff, so I figured the best place for her to do that is with other puppies, so... I really hope you guys like this video. I'm so excited. This is her first time. So I hope it goes well. I think that maybe she might be a little scared at first because she's she's really shy. She's a shy puppy. But hopefully it goes well. So let's see. It's going to be a really cute video. Okay, bye. Come here. Come here. Bailey. Come on. Okay, guys. So you can see we're very signed in today. Or her play to session. These are all the other dogs are going to be there. So we have 10 dogs today. Cool. Hey guys, so Movie's very first puppy playtime. She's already interested in the other dogs that she sees over there. So let's see how it goes. And she's in a little hyper mood too. So, ow! <laughs> so she's going to love this. It's going to be great. These are her other classmates right here. That looks like Movie the little polka dot one. They both kind of look like movie, actually. Are you excited? Look at her, she wants to get in it. Mm -hmm. You're going to need them right now, your classmates. Don't you dare go that way. Did everybody say that? Did everybody say that? Okay guys, so movie is going to be in the second class because like 12, so this is the first class, and it's cool because they separate them by like personalities, the ones that she already knows, and then they also separate them by like size and stuff, so that way you don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm kind of worried because movie keeps growling at everyone. She keeps growling, but I don't know, we'll see. But I'll show you some of their session, and then once movie goes in, I'll show you the movie session. That is looking at me. you ready? I don't think you're ready, girl. This is me and movie watching. Movie and I are watching Puppy Playtime together, right, Mo? See? <laughs> See, so those are like all the bigger dogs. Whoa. <laughs> those are like all the bigger dogs. Oh, that dog got separated. I wonder why. She doesn't like the bigger dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're so crazy. Too. I know. You see, they're like flipping that little one around. <laughs> Oh, that's your puppy, right? Yeah. What, what kind of puppy is she? She's an um, American Bulldog with a schnauzer. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so these are like the bigger dogs, and the movie's going to go in the group of the smaller ones. Playtime is you guys leave your dogs here and leave them on with me forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys will leave your dogs here for like maybe 20 minutes, 15 20 minutes. Okay, and in that time, I will be seeing how they interact with those dogs. If it's in a friendly way, if it's not in a friendly way.
way. If they get anxious when you guys leave, if they don't get anxious, if they get aggressive, not aggressive, those are the things I have to see. Okay? Um, if your puppy doesn't want to socialize, I will most likely put them in the playpen and just let them because they most likely want space. The thing about socializing here is that it's possible. We don't force your dogs to play with other dogs. Because if we were to force them, guess what? They're not going to like coming in. And you'll see them trying to avoid this little bit. Okay? So what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to unclip your dog and hold on to it. And then go slow And then you can step outside as you guys are letting go of your dogs. She's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> there go movies. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> oh, she's gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie with movie. A different okay. color movie. No, I know. It's the big dogs. <laughs> I'll play with you. Guys, you, they put them in this section here when they're not <laughs> when they're not being very social. Like if you can see, German Shepherds doesn't really want to be that social, so that's why she is behind the little gate. And the movie is too. Okay guys, so as you can see, Moby's just hanging out under the chair. She's not really into it. It's okay though. We don't force her. Okay, once I saw her be more comfortable, where I didn't see hiding, where I didn't see her trying to avoid the dogs and stuff, she was more out in the open, and I let her. Now she's a little more comfortable. She really likes Austin. For some reason. Sigi <laughs> <laughs> scares her. Because every time Sigi would come up to her, she would try to go back into her playpen. Now I left the playpen open because that's her safety zone. In case you wanted to go back and just hide, that's fine. So you let them come. You are now. Now. So the times that we put Sigi on timeout or the playpen would be either because he was playing a little overboard with us, so it would just be too for him to settle down. Now, if he was there longer, if he was in the playpen longer, it was because of that. He's the whining. So the reason why I didn't let him out was because I don't want him, I don't want a crazy whining for him to be screaming at me and I open up the door. Because I don't want to teach him that, hey, you got to open up people for them to open the door on the door. Or, I mean, this is his first time. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have other dogs at home or anything. No dog no dog. And make him face the wall. Um so he hasn't really interacted with other dogs. No. So that's really good. Because he can point up to her and to her. Notice the big size difference. Usually smaller dogs tend to get a little intimidated by bigger dogs. You know, he was like, hey, I want to be your friend. He looks so fluffy. Hey, I want to be your friend. And he just kept going back and forth. He did play with uh, Siki, but that's because Siki was the only one willing to kind of play. Movie. Okay? I noticed she looked like bigger dogs. Yeah. 
<coughs> she was trying to sniff her and she was like showing her who she plays with. Yeah. Um, with that, it's just about introducing her to a lot of more different size dogs. Okay. Because if she's used to seeing a specific size, then she's going to be used to seeing that specific size. And she lives with a small dog. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just because you guys or any of you guys have other dogs at home and your dogs get really well with them, doesn't mean your dogs are social. They're just, it just means that your dogs are used to living with the dogs at home. That doesn't mean they're social with everyone else. Okay, so with her, it will just be about little by little start bringing her and just give her time. Okay. Because her way at first she was interested mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. on certain ones, and I'm pretty sure it was mostly the smaller ones. Yeah. Uh, because when they would come up to her, she would start wagging her tail. Not excitedly, so we're like, oh my god, I'm having so many friends. But she was like, don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the way she was wagging her tail. Okay. And then the reason why I say, oh my god, because sometimes you see their tail is really going super fast. Mm -hmm. um, but she was kind of like, hey, you guys, I guess I'm here. Uh, but then Millie came along, and Millie, she's really nice. So it's not like Millie's mean and like, she has a right to not like Millie, mm -hmm. but her size intimidates smaller dogs. Okay. So when that happened and I saw her face like going evil, that's what her hair. And once I put her here, if you notice, she was mostly underneath the chair. Yeah. So that shows me she's not really interested in coming up. Okay. And then she did, like towards the end, come out of the chair. Mm -hmm. And as soon as Millie tried to go say hi, she was like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> But it's just about slowly start introducing her to other dogs. Okay. Yeah, like I'm telling you, like if you guys are not the only ones, there's a lot of other people who have been in the same spot. And I always tell you guys, just keep bringing them. Okay. And I can't really tell you how long it's going to take because every dog is different. Maybe for her, maybe for her. Maybe for her. I don't know. Okay. It all depends on her and just letting her do it on her own. Because okay. if I were to force her out and just have to chase her, she's going to hate them. She's okay. going to hate every single big dog ever. Doesn't okay. mean that they're the set, her same breed, other breed, whatever. The big, she's gonna eat okay. because of the member, uh, the memory really gave her. Okay. So that's why we try to do positive, uh, socialized. Okay. Now, Millie. Ruby was a little scared. She didn't really play too much, but it's okay. We're gonna come back again next week. So I don't know she should get better and better. But uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, just please remember to like this video if you like this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Thank you.